And again, the first thing we should do is just take a look at our given information, see how many things we can figure out about the two triangles that we're trying to prove congruent. We're trying to prove these two triangles here congruent. So triangle DEC and triangle BEA, we're trying to prove those congru congruent. So we need three things. So what have they told us? The first thing they've told us is line segment CD is congruent to line segment AB. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that on my diagram. And that's these two line segments here, CD congruent to AB. I mark that with those little hash marks. What else do we know? Well, that's a side, first of all. And then we know angle B is congruent to angle D. And again, I like to use three letters for our angle. So that's angle CDE is congruent to angle ABE. And they're congruent, and I mark those with the little arcs with the hash marks there. So those are congruent. So we have a side and an angle now, but we need one more piece of information. So let's take a look at this diagram and see what we can figure out. I have these intersecting lines here, this X. So whenever you see an X, you should think of intersecting lines and vertical angles. So we have congruent vertical angles here. I'm going to mark those with this little arc and the double hash marks. Remember, when you're marking multiple things on the diagram, to mark them as different things here. So this angle here is congruent to this one, and then these two angles are congruent to itself. So you have to mark them with different markings, because otherwise you're saying they're all congruent. So those are congruent to each other, angle CED and angle AEB. So I'm going to write that down. So angle CED is congruent to angle AEB. And the reason for that is vertical angles are congruent. So opposite angles from intersecting lines, they're congruent. And they're known as vertical angles. Now I have two angles and a side. So I know that the triangles are going to be congruent because two angles and a side always prove triangles congruent. But what is it? Is it angle side angle or side angle angle? That's what we need to figure out. So let's take a look. Is the side sandwiched between the two angles? Is it connected to the two angles? Well, it looks like it's on the outside here. So it has to be side angle angle. It's not sandwiched between the two angles. If it were, say, this side and this side, so say DE and BE that were congruent, then it would be angle side angle. But since the side is only connected to one of the angles, it has to be side angle angle. You could also call it angle angle side. Either one, they're the equivalent expressions. So side angle angle, that's what we're gonna go with. So I hope this helps and please let me know if you have any questions.